Okay, this one is the S52, and I'm looking at back at the TV. And uh, you'll see a video. I'm going to put this right here. It's the 50 millimeter. Okay. I hope it'll focus. Uh, but this is where you connect the HDMI ports. This right here, if I sit down, this is the Nikon ZF. Okay. So. Remember, it stutters for about 10 seconds. I see the focus on me. And I should be smooth as silk. Okay? That's the way this program works. Anyway, the reason why I'm going to show this is I got my lavalier mic on. I got uh, the Z62 also, which I'm going to turn on shortly just to uh, show you on the video what I'm going to do. And if the 50 millimeter kind of fails me, I'll have a backup with the Z62. All right. So let's get this process. What am I going to do? This video is part of an unboxing of the Sony Bravia X77L. Okay. It's the newest 2023 model, but it's at the lowest end of the tier. It's a 4K TV. I don't think it's OLED. Okay. But anyhow. Uh, I got two cables. I got the regular HDMI, which is an 8K cable. Which I'll plug into the laptop. To see if uh, the register let if I can bring it to 60 hertz without using this USB C converter to HDMI. Okay, that's the test for this program and the unboxing to see how the video quality is, everything like that. So, without further ado, I am going to have to move this mic around. Oh, and uh, I got to plug it in also. <laughs> so let, let's go to this, and I'll turn on the Z62. And I have to keep an eye on the battery life on that. So uh, this is mobile, but you see a little stuttering. Wait 10 seconds, and when I do it again, it should be ready to go. See? Just wanted to show you that. I'm turning on the uh, camera. And let's see. Let's do it this way first. Get my coffee out of there. I got the remote also with the batteries in there installed. I'm showing in on both cameras. Okay. There we go. Batteries are in there. It's ready to go. Okay. I got it on the Z62 right here. Um, I may have to move my mic a little bit because, uh, yeah, I wasn't in focus. All right. And let's put it like right there. See if it stays in focus. So, the power plug. Goes over here. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Nice thing about having a remote. Yeah. That bad boy right here. So let me uh, move this camera to here. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to. Yeah, the only problem with the uh, the road uh, lavalier mic, you have to bring it with you. Uh, make sure you don't snag anything. So just plug it in. Make sure it's in all the way. It's ready to go. I got an adapter underneath there. I'll plug it in when everything is working. That's all I do. 
and I'll turn it around and then uh, I have to hook up the cables. Now, the only problem I hate about these certain TVs, and I can do it with but anyway, with these TVs is all the inputs is on the side and not center. And I think I know why they do that is because that way they can mount it on a wall and then it's easier access if you want it as flush as possible or inside a cabinet where you open up the drawers. Okay, so the power plug is in. I am now going to turn this around. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Mm. Put it back here. Okay. And I'm trying to get as back as possible. You got that silver dish in there. I can raise this up though. All right, let's do it more like that. And I can put on uh, a bigger, wider lens too. And I forgot to press the record button on the Z62. <laughs> so just to show you again, I plugged in the uh, power, which is on this back end, and all the cables are on this side. So they have three HDMIs, um, regular uh, cable input, network, LAN, they got the optical sound, digital audio out, and two USBs. And I think they're the USB 3s, okay? Because they're 5 volt. So anyway, let me uh, do this once again. And I'll turn it around. And I got the uh, 28 millimeters, so I could put a 26, but we'll just do that. And I got to move the cable around again. They can hear me. And all I do is I just turn it around. And there you go. Okay? It's not heavy at all. It's 43 inch and very light. And it's the lowest tier, by the way. I gotta move the cable out. That's the problem with uh, doing this live. And you can see the reflection of me in the screen. So, first thing you do is you plug it in. And go down here. Next thing, we're going to try the HDMI port out. So set this down. I'll catch some of this stuff out, okay, folks? Okay. So HDMI out. And I'll just put it underneath the TV for now. I think it's on, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, it is on. How about that? It just loaded up. 
I wasn't even expecting that. And it looks like a regular LED. It's not an OLED or anything, but neither was the other one. I'm going to put in an HDMI one. in there. See one thing about coming old. There we go. Okay, it's in there. The cable is in there. Okay? It's hooked up. Now, let's see if it recognizes Try to get it as straight as possible. Okay. So, with the remote, it's showing this right now. And I am trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. It's at 50 millimeters, so I'm going to go to, uh, you know, that's a little bit too wide or too close. And if I bring it back a little bit, it's still a little bit too close, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to get the other camera out of there. I'll just show you that part, all right? So, let's go back to... Uh, See if I can get to uh, select the uh, VGA. And what I'll do is I'll put it on options, live demo mode, so you can see everything is turned on. What I'm viewing, this is the TV, okay? And somehow I jumped. Okay, that's where I want it. All right, so let's see if it recognizes it. And I'm going to show you something different. It's going to give me some warnings. So let's see. Go to settings I go to TV input airplay HDMI 1 now there we go now you see that reflection right there that's because it's feeding this way so I'm going to put it back on myself right here so you don't have to see that. You're going to see the video with this on there. Now, it's it's doing good, okay? So it's it smooth out. It's been 10 seconds. And I'm looking at the video. I'm looking at my battery, too, on the Z6 II. And I think I got enough going. But anyway, long story short, you're seeing myself with this, okay? Camlink 2. You see myself up there. If I go to, which I'll show here, I want to see the settings of the monitor. And what the way I do is uh, I'll click on this. All right, you see my icons and stuff. The R10, I'm ready to just about do that next. Go into uh, settings, system settings. Go into um, displays. All right, the Sony TV 30 inch. All right, it's actually a 43 inch, but anyhow, it's it. Uh, Let's see. 
Yeah, that's not going to be the main display. So I'm going to make that stop mirroring. Okay. So, built-in laptop is main display. On the Sony, when I select it, is the extended display laptop main. So, it's at 60 hertz, by the way. I don't have to use the uh, external um, USB-C to the converter to the uh, um, move it up from 30 to 60. It's working. And that's what I want. So it's a win-win. So you can see me. Now let's show you the uh, uh, the TV through the Panasonic. And there you go. All right. So let me also sh uh, describe to you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the difference between sharing and, um, let's see, I got a message or something. <laughs> Randy show live from San Antonio. Okay. <laughs> I hope I'm not live. Let me take a look. Yeah, I hope I'm not live. Anyway, uh, I have the comments turned on. Yeah, I don't see anything in comments. So, anyway, long story, it's working. Let's go to the internet and let's see if it sees that. I'm going to turn off live demo mode right here. This is from the S5 II, okay? And this is just from the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, internet. I'm gonna click on YouTube. And there you have it. So you're seeing pretty much YouTube, it looks good. That's the laptop, it's not the TV, okay? And you know what? You're just seeing the TV. So I have to put on share in order to get it working. Okay. Now what I have to do is this. I forgot, you go in a window you go to move to the Sony 30 inch. There I go. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll clip some of this out also. But uh, there you go. And now I can scroll again. Let me know if it's uh, too bright or anything. I'm going to move the mouse cursor over here. Now look at that. So this is from the TV. And I'm going to turn off the uh, light. Right here. Because I'm recording from here too. We're looking at the battery. It's still good, which is amazing. So now you see basically the whole TV. Okay? With the Z62. And with the Panasonic, you're seeing pretty much the whole thing. All right. So now I'm going to go to share and I'll show you the difference between viewing it on a camera, which you won't get any stuttering or anything, and sharing. And then we'll see how this program performs if there's any stuttering and stuff. So I'll go over here. I'll click on share. And there we go. The picture looks better even after I turn off the light. And I'm recording this on the Z6 II, so I'm going to show this footage also. All right. Move the mouse over. Scrolling. You don't see any stuttering. 
right? I can go to, um, let's say, my little icon right here. Click on that. Go to YouTube Studio. All right. Thank you for all my subscribers. Content. Let's play one of my videos, okay? And let's play this one, ZF. And I'm going to, I have the sound turned off, okay? I'm going to turn it on shortly. You won't hear any music or anything, I don't think. So I unmuted the microphone. I'm going to show you a slideshow. And I'm going to make this full screen. There you go. So I see. I'm showing pictures in black and white. And this is on the share. Everything's clear. Let me get you a colored picture shortly, then I'll switch to uh, back to the camera. There we go. And the colors are okay. May have to calibrate it. But anyway, there's black and white. Now I'm going to go back to the camera, okay? So I'm going to... This is the S5 II, okay? And then this is sharing. Now that's a little out of focus. Let's get on the other picture. See the video? Now, watch what happened. So you see, this is with the camera. You see the sun, the... Uh, Lighting on the TV, okay, that's somewhere I'm getting a sun ray or whatever, but uh, that's the difference. So if you just share it, that's fine. But I got an external monitor to deal with things. It looks good. Anyhow, uh, I just want to show you this unboxing. And then I'll go back to here. And there you have it. So, uh, hope this was helpful. It's at 60 hertz. I've had no trouble setting uh, this cam or this TV up. And it says it's a 30 inch when it actually it's a 43 inch. So, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any comments or questions, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe. Keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and I'll put the video up from the SX2 as part two. So this is part one. And now you're going to see part two. Bye, folks. And I guess we'll end watching my video. This is minus an EVF and a, a lamp, okay? So it's missing the top part. It's, it's 14.2 ounces.